Island Dreams is Caribbean architecture and design at its very best. Island Dreams, the half-hour television magazine, explores all realms of island living. Co-hosts Kimberly Mays Issa and Tamara Scott Williams take you into the dwellings and lives of persons who've seen their tropical dreams manifest. This weekly half-hour program celebrates the pride and pleasure islanders take in their abodes as well as the creative flourishes with which they are appointed. Top decorators show viewers how to revitalize their homes with the panache of an uptown state, but on a budget, while interviews with construction professionals review industry secrets. Island Dreams believes that a man's home is his castle, no matter the income bracket, and that creativity is equally impartial to economics. Enjoy exploring a versatile range of properties, historic treasures, cozy cottages, and richly appointed mansions. The visuals of these special places are made even more memorable as owners, architects, and artists share the stories of their creations. Island Dreams introduces you to Caribbean people living the magic, fulfilling their fantasies with life in paradise. Welcome to Island Dreams, where we explore the best of Caribbean architecture and design. For some of us on this rock named Jamaica, our vision of paradise is not just of azure waters and sandy shores, but also a life of hidden waterfalls, exotic blooms, and misty bliss. When you're going somewhere that's so beautiful and so nice, usually it's, it's kind of hard to get to those sort of places. The Blue Mountains are special because every day it's a different day. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green, sometimes the light, the shadows. You actually will get up one morning and know that today is a different day. This is the master. And, um, what was your starting point? Well, this was the bed that the client wanted. And I, because the ceiling was wood, etc., I wanted that sort of blue-gray to contrast that. And um, the rest of this is history. You go and you look for the fabric after that, and what works is what works, and you just run with it. South side would be the would have been the entry side, and the, the, that side would have taken most of the, the sunlight. So we wanted to screen it out anyway. So we use that entry for screening. And as you as if you notice the entry gates, when you got through those metal gates, which we had to um, really put a marine epoxy on it for the rust problem, you came over a bridge, and on either side of the bridge was the water and what have you. All of that helps as a transition area to enter the house and also it screens the southern side from the sun. So the, the, light, the light does play a big part in how you treat it and how you deal with the sun. Artist Keeble Allen was one of the persons from the community trained in restoration techniques. He is now the property's caretaker. Do you have a, a favorite spot that like, you, you worked on and this was your area and you take pride in or any of the saints that you've learned about that you really like? Well, actually, I, I was the one who, who mixed all the colors to, to, to catch the, the original paintings. So I, You're I'm, everywhere. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere. I'm an artist by profession, by the way. Cuisine. I get this a lot when people come in. They say, oh, African cuisine, what do you have? Chunks, what do you have? Ital? And I'm like, no. Africa is a continent of over 54 countries, right? Um, with varying cuisines right across the continent. Cafe Africa is a team effort. Our chef is from Nigeria. Um, his name is uh, Prince Ohe, um, Nigerian royalty, he will tell you. My wife uh, is a great supporter. I mean, uh, even before she was my wife, being a member of the UNIA, so a lot of the decoration, a lot of the little things that 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 brings up the cafe is 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 done by her. When you came here, you mentioned 
you had just a concrete slab. Yes, it was pretty much just a slab. And um, we put in the concrete and we decided to put some bamboo and use the natural resources of Jamaica, planting um, the trees and the plants and the greenery that you see. There's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears and uh, a lot of money. One of the first comfort upgrades made was the construction of gazebos providing shade and shelter for visitors. What we have done, we have gone through and we have created six gazebos with picnic seating where you can easily come into family. Whether it's sunny or whether it's raining, you can mm. relax and have a wonderful time. You've re refined something that is very rustic and, and I know personally a lot of people are afraid of lizards and things and you've made, you've put the burlap and you've changed the, the whole ceiling. look. To me it just says natural. On Island Dreams, we love to inspire you with creativity that you might just incorporate into your own home in some small way. Prepare to be dazzled by architectural interior designer Jayan Robertson, who transformed a bedroom for one very lucky little girl. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, it was really fun to do. I really thoroughly enjoyed it um, because it is something I would do for my child, the same sort of design. And I don't too often get asked to do things that my, 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 my taste. 